I thought to the start of this video I'd show you the player map mode so you can have more of an idea about what I actually own or my vassal owns, Novgorod. I've been trying to figure out what exactly I need to do now to finish off this Baltic Crusader achievement. Uh, this Russian region, which if I show you this map mode, is that here. Uh, basically, I believe I need three more wars against Lithuania, a war against Genoa, maybe a war or two against Crimea, a couple of wars against Muscovy, one war against Kazan, and a war against Perm. But Kazan owns Perm. So, yeah, that's probably all I need to do now, and of course, Diplo Annex Novgorod to actually get this achievement. And I have to then convert all of that region to Catholic. So, this is my main goal as it has been since uh, basically the start of the game. The next two big wars, which I'm hoping to start, are of course against Kazan and Lithuania, uh, the two big players left in the Russian region. I'm going to use Kazan to get Poland to join in on that war and then I'll use Austria to attack Lithuania. That's going to be in 47. Could be difficult to get that to happen depending on if uh, Poland and Austria are involved in their own wars but I guess we'll see. So coming up now I think there could be a bit of a period of peace. I have to core up some provinces I've recently taken off. Golden Horde. There may be a war against Crimea coming up, I'm not entirely sure. I could start other wars, maybe against Sabir and Circassia for example, but I don't think there's a massive uh, point currently. Uh, I should probably get claims on these areas before I actually take territory there. And I really need to save up a lot of admin points currently. I don't want to fall behind too much in admin tech. I want to get towards this uh, admin efficiency as soon as possible, level 17, and also actually the development efficiency. Uh, we're actually ahead currently, but if I spend a ton on religious ideas, I won't be. Uh, money's come up a bit. I've actually got a bit of money to spend, so I think I'm going to actually go to do that now, spend some money. I'll make some new boats. I did actually... Well, I'll show you something in a minute after I've done this. So let's make six caravels in my six shipyards uh, by there. I did consider docking up and actually upgrading my uh, existing barks of caravels. We can see there it says 112.2 for those five ships. It's cheaper for me to just make new ones and I can actually sell those caravels, uh, those barks to someone potentially as well then. All of these in the shipyard provinces well, five of them will just cost me just over 101 ducats or 102 ducats, I think it is, instead of 112. So it's cheaper doing that. So it's not very useful, that uh, feature, actually. Something I also have forgotten for, well, quite some time. I rivaled Lithuania before, and I didn't embargo them, so I'm actually going to do that now. So let's issue embargo. And that will increase our power projection, still very high. I can insult them as well in a bit. So on the 21st of February, we don't have a truce, so that uh, they will get a Cassis Belly, but they already have Cassis Belly on me anyway, so it won't matter. Let's check the Ottomans. What's the aggressive expansion? He's 22. So if I did start a war against Crimea, I wouldn't be able to take much before angering them, basically. So I'm not sure about that. Genoa getting into a war against them could be an issue, but they're allied with Lithuania, so maybe I should take their territory at the same time I attack Lithuania, actually, or break their alliance. But then that means I have to... Well, they're part of the HRE, aren't they? So that would cause me issues. Or are they? They're not, actually, are they, anymore? Because of the new Italian events. So, yeah, that's not as big a problem as I thought it was going to be, actually. Just have to get Kuban to get access and then go after them. Um, at some point. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. Right, let's start the clock anyway. Uh, right, so trade embargoed. Crimea wants access. Diplomat is back. I'm waiting until next month now to insult. Uh, these cores, I have to wait for Saladitsin before I can do those. Uh, with my free diplomat, let's do what? Uh, improve relations with Ottomans. Austria. To Austria temporarily, although I don't really need to. Uh, rivals, there isn't really a. Well, 
potatoes back. They're probably the ones I'm most likely to go after next, and maybe Poland, but Poland's my ally, so definitely don't want to do them yet. Uh, I have probably a few too many mercs I should be getting rid of to save uh, money. I have the manpower to do it now. I lost a cast belly, so I lost a claim on reserve. Oh, I just remember what I meant to do. I need to make some claims on perms, so that's what the diplomat's going to be doing in a bit. Supplies on the 19. How many have you got? One coming down. Yeah, I've got a lot of mercs there actually. Right, so uh, that province just caught, so I can now. Oh, I'm actually out of missionaries. Five missionaries, and I'm actually out. Would have thought, eh? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to wait for one of those. Right. So, so far, taking that counter -reformi reformation idea has all been positive for me. It hasn't cost me anything yet, but it will do in a bit when I actually get some more tax or ideas. Oh, and that reminds me as well, I never show the religion screen to do with that. So let's check this. I can still become Protestant whenever I want. And you can see the, the things it removes. Counter-Reformation, key one, which I was worried about. I assume it removes all of the bonuses and negatives towards it as well, since it removes it. Uh, De Heretico, which is quite a good one. It removes and Conventicle Act, which I think is also quite good, which it removes. All of them are good in circumstances, even uh, Reformation one. Counter Reformation one. Right, so they're all there, no supply issues. Oh, right, it's. Why hasn't it come back yet? Okay, let's cap that out. Get him back in 12 days. Manpower cap is 36. I probably need to keep an eye on when they are done. To a certain degree. I think my force limit for ships is like 40 odd though. Right, so if I send an insult here, I should get an extra 5 PP, which will bring us just short of the cap. Give them a Cassus Belly, which I don't care about. Yep, that one by 5. That only works when you don't have a truce, which we don't. Right, diplomats back. How's the relations with Poland? 200, even though improved relations are pretty low. We have same dynasty as here, plus 92. Wonder if that would all go at some stage. I actually desire a couple of provinces. Maybe I should be increasing this in a bit, actually. But I want to do some claims on Perm. Uh, next war against Kazan, I'm going to take at least a couple of provinces off them. Hopefully. Fabricate claim. So let's do this one first. If we get caught, let's check something here. What's Lithuania's aggressive expansion? It should be well below 30, shouldn't it? It's 28. And I've got until 47. I might wait then for a bit. Let's improve relations with... Let's improve relations with North because it's not a 200. Eh, it's not that important. I've got a, dis I've got a tough decision about when I return Novgorod to a normal vassal instead of being a march and when to integrate them as well. I think I might start to do that after the first Lithuanian war. Not 100% sure though. There's that uh, influence ideas which might be a good idea to get as well if I'm doing that. Should I turn off these? If I put them near there's going to be too many maybe. Uh, I'll try it as icon, let's see how it goes, because they keep on popping all the freaking time. I don't really need to know about every area of the world. Okay. Right, so Oster Gotland's religious seal ran out. Okay, uh, Smolland converted, so that's freed up one of these. So which one do I want to do? Uh, let's do Nark first. So what's this? This is a Zabra. Let's do that one. So come on. Definitely want to take that promise. Right, that's actually really low brilliant. Did 
The Lantern of Light. We've had this one before, haven't we? So this is Devotion for Prestige, or Prestige for Devotion. Since we're nearly on 100, I'm going to take that. I think it might be time to get rid of some of my mercs as well. So how much do I have here? Zero. What's my force limit like? It's come down a bit. Uh, yeah, let's scrap some mercs then. So should I scrap a lot? 8,000 mercs. Um, I think I have a couple over there as well. I think I might leave a couple. I really like using mercs against natives so you don't lose manpower. So, uh, yeah, I scrap those. What do I need now? Let's get at least 4,000 men back. So let's make them over here. One, two, three, four. I've had a bit of a change of heart over what I'm actually going to do in these areas as well. If I show you, I can find the right screen, the trade goods screen. Originally, I was just going to have shipyards all around this area, all around the coast, and have like 10 to 20 of them. But to make get the best use out of those, you really have to develop your production in those areas. And I don't want to do that in green provinces like these ones here. So I think I'm just going to have a military area in this area here. And my shipyards will be a bit more scattered. I'll have the naval supplies as a... Uh, Shipyards and the fur shipyards, um, yeah, maybe the fish as well, because it's well, it's a bit better than grain, but not really. Uh, those two provinces will probably be military as well, uh, considering land. Yeah, so I think that's what my plan is for development a bit later on. But uh, well, I'll talk more about that when I'm actually spending some military points on development in a bit, probably. Right, so boats are coming in, men are coming in, colony's about to be done. Okay, that was bad. I think that one just converted. So it looks like Ozil is now converting over to Protestantism, so it's not a great area to, de to develop anymore. Right. Um, is that done as well? Right, this is actually being converted. I would really like to make a castle here, I think. It's a very good defensible position. If ever I did get into trouble with the hands, uh, uh, yeah, this could come in. This would be a very good place for a better fort, basically. So I'm going to build one there. I think all my forts are on, aren't they, currently? So, we've got 8 active forts and I need 11 now, I think, to get the full bonus. We're getting in 0.75, maximum being 1. Okay, some of my forts are in bad, I wouldn't really want them in those positions, so I might have to switch them around when I got a bit of money later on. Not sure if I want massive amounts of forts either because they're very expensive although we get a bit off being a Livonian order with one of our ideas so Percentius colonize so where to next I can now colonize basically all the way down the eastern seaboard of North America and into Caribbean and down on uh, towards South America so I still want to focus on getting these trade centers I think now I believe England is colonizing the Caribbean there was no I think in the 
El Dorado expansion, a new f uh, feature was added, or a new modifier was added, uh, linked to the Tordesillas, historical uh, splitting of the world between uh, Portugal and Spain. Basically, it was a papal decree. So if a nation forms a colonial nation when they're Catholic, they actually get a bonus to the settlers in that region. And also anyone else who's Catholic gets a penalty if they try and colonize that region. So arguably I'd want to colonize the Caribbean, get a colonial nation before the English do. At the very least I want to grab this important natural harbor I think here. It's a very good uh, province anyway. So let's get my settler back. Now we completed that. So what's the next mission? Chief of Legitimity, not going to be able to do that for a very long time. That's owned by Russia, or Muscovy I should say. Alright, so let's colonize Havana. I need to get a thousand troops down here probably, so they can attach there. They can come down here. Yeah, I think all of the Caribbean's been revealed to me now. I think Portugal explored it all for us. I still actually have my explorer. I could do more exploring, but I'm yeah, I don't think I need to for a while. France actually colonized there, which I was thinking about colonizing that province before. So they've got access probably now to all the Caribbean and over here. So looks like they are going to be a colonizer after all. Brittany can colonize. The Dutch miners can colonize. There could be quite a few nations colonizing. Scotland can later on. Uh, do I want to get more another a third colony on the go? Can I afford it? Looks like I might be able to after getting rid of all of those mercs. All my money shot up all of a sudden. My maintenance isn't on either, is it? So I want to move them off there in case of uh, a revolt killing them all. What about down here? Ooh, that's a bad idea as well. There. Okay, it looks like all my ships are done and all of my new units. Probably need to wait for morale though. Let's group these up. So, I might try and sell these ships to someone now. Grand Banks Fisheries. Our explorers report that over the Grand Banks of Newfoundland they have found waters teeming with thousands upon thousands of fishes just waiting to be caught. Fishing expeditions are heading to these waters in greater and greater numbers and markets are awash with an unimaginable supply of fish. So this is a fish event. To be honest, I'm surprised this hadn't kicked in already. Uh, yeah, so the cost... We get less money from fish now, the trade goods, but we get more money for salt. I think there's also another one coming later on for fish when there's a certain amount... But if there's five or more Protestant nations, it's uh, another minus to fish, sadly. Uh, so what am I looking for? Trade goods? So you don't have much fish, to be honest. I don't have much salt either, sadly. I'm probably have a bit of salt there. I have a lot of fish, actually, from Norway. Yeah, so it's not very good for me, to be honest. If I click on... I'm not sure it's kicked in yet, actually. It's sent us two. But, ah, here we go. Base price, 2.5. Current price. Ah, yeah, the Protestant one's kicked in already. So it's 20% off. Yeah, it's not very good trade good anymore, basically. So it might be an idea for me to wipe out the Protestants to uh, up the price of fish, arguably. Show people our resilience. Our state is under pressure, but it is time to show our resilience in the face of adversity. It is time for boys to step up and become men, for men to show the world what they are made of. Together we can go forward. It is time. Game of stability. Excellent. So maybe these revolts won't happen, some of them. Probably will. Let's group those up. What are my diplomats doing? Let's get that guy back. Where's my fleet? Let's bring them to there, bring those to there. Let's 
Which I'll end. Uh, right, step has arrived, Navy arrived. Let's group those up and actually take out the backs. So, does anyone want to buy those backs off me? How about the hands? Uh, sell ships. No, they don't. Poland? Nope. Right, I really can't be bothered micromanaging and figuring out moving ships over there to see if England or whomever would buy them. So I'm just going to scrap those backs. Uh, might buy some more caravels in a bit. So it's five. It's still useful, of course, but caravels give you an extra bit of trade power. Not sure how much, actually. So, protect trade, Baltic. Okay. Let's make... Yeah, let's get another round of those, is it? So, build ship. Caravel. Caravel, 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 Caravel. Okay. And the diplomat back, what am I going to do with you? I want to make claims on Perm, don't I? So let's start doing that now. That one. Minus two of Crime is the only one I care about, really, there. Uh, Lithuania, I should say. This, place them there. Right, there wasn't much chance of our agent being caught, but sadly he has, so that puts Lithuania over the 30 mark now. So, not good. Hopefully, they don't uh, form a coalition. Avoid it. Yeah, not one coalition yet so far. Uh, so what? That's probably plus ten. Yeah, thirty-eight. Okay. Akasus. New cardinal, Moskva. Okay, that's going to help. Papal influence. What's the chance? Yeah, I'm actually going to invest ten. So that takes us up to 11%. So you have to spend increasing amounts, which I didn't realize, to get a better percentage chance. I don't think I'm going to spend any more than that for the time being. So I think I'll just bring them down here. Right, Lithuania finally made peace with Crimea, and they basically took the lot apart from that province there.